This lesson is on three hidden skin findings of prostate cancer or skin findings that the patient may just not think much of. Before we talk about those potential skin findings, let's discuss prostate cancer, some of the risk factors for getting it, and also some of the more common symptoms of this particular cancer. So prostate cancer is a cancer of the prostate gland, which is a male reproductive organ located at the base of the bladder. So we can see in this image here, it's right at the base of the bladder, and it actually surrounds or encircles the urethra, which originates from the bladder. So as the cancer spreads toward the urethra, this is going to cause a lot of the signs and symptoms that can be associated with prostate cancer. So the prostate may enlarge over time, but most often it's going to be non-malignant growth, meaning that it's going to be what we call benign prostatic hyperplasia. So this is not a cancer, but in some cases it could be a cancer, and this would be a malignant process, and this is what we're going to discuss here, prostate cancer. Now prostate cancer is the first to second most common cancer in males, and the prevalence of this cancer increases with increasing age. So as we get older, we're more likely to have prostate cancer. And other risk factors in addition to increasing age include genetics, family history, obesity, and possibly a history of smoking. Now some of the symptoms of prostate cancer include lower urinary tract symptoms. These include burning sensation when urinating, so dysuria, and also urinary frequency, so feeling that you need to urinate more frequently. Hematuria is also another potential finding in prostate cancer patients. This is where there's blood in the urine. And then in some more advanced stages, we can actually get urinary retention, where the cancer now actually blocks the urethra so the patient can't urinate. This is more common in benign prostatic hyperplasia, but it can occur in prostate cancer in later stages. Now, a lot of what we're going to discuss happens generally later in cancer progression. So when we have localized prostate cancer, if it's left untreated, it can become more advanced. It can start to grow and impinge on other structures or can leave the site of the prostate and go to other parts of the body. We'll discuss that here as we go through this lesson. And the cancer itself can also release cytokines or inflammatory immune system chemicals. So we'll talk about that and how this relates to skin findings. Now the first possible skin finding we may see in prostate cancer is what we call idiopathic urticaria. So idiopathic urticaria simply means that it is spontaneous eruption of itchy hives. That's what urticaria are, hives. So it's idiopathic meaning that the patient doesn't know why it's a happening. It's not like they're getting exposed to any allergens that might be causing it. It just happens. And this has been found in case reports of patients with an underlying prostate cancer having this. And in fact, as the cancer worsened, their frequency of eruptions of these hives worsened as well. So as their cancer got worse or progressed, then they started having even more of these itchy hives popping up. Now this will be important to look out for, especially in older patients, and also in patients who might have some risk factors, including a family history, for instance. And what can also occur with this idiopathic urticaria is what we call angioedema. And angioedema is something that looks like this. It's a swelling of the tongue and the lips, and even the cheeks and some of the other areas around the mouth. So this can also occur in some patients who have prostate cancer. Now again, all of this is considered rare. Another possible skin finding that could be found in prostate cancer patients is subcutaneous nodules. So subcutaneous nodules could look like this. It could be just certain bumps that have developed. And these are going to be raised skin lesions. That's what nodules are. Now, oftentimes they're going to be multiple and they're palpable, meaning that you can actually feel them. So there's this bump under the skin. And they're going to be non-tender, meaning that there's not going to be any pain elicited when you touch them, and they're not itchy. So again, it's going to be due to actually a metastasis of cancer cells from the prostate to the skin. This is very rare, but it can happen. And it's often going to occur in certain parts of the body. Now, it has been noted to happen in some patients where they've had nodules occurring on the chest. So they had them on the sternum or other parts of the chest on their arm and on their leg, but most of the time these nodules will occur in what we call the inguinal area or around the groin area. So we'll get these just raised bumps that are, again, you can feel them, they're under the skin, they're not tender, and they're not itchy. This is, again, a rare finding in metastatic prostate cancer where cancer cells essentially are what makes up these nodules. And another potential skin finding in patients with an underlying prostate cancer is what we call dermatomyositis. 
So this is actually what we call a paraneoplastic condition, meaning that it is due to chemicals like those cytokines we talked about before that the cancer releases. So the cancer releases these chemicals into the bloodstream, they travel through the body, and they cause certain issues in certain parts of the body. And one of them is the skin causing dermatomyositis. So again, it's due to the increased cytokines that the cancer or the immune system is releasing in response to the cancer. And what we can see with this particular skin finding is what we call a heliotrope or periorbital or erythema or rash. So this is where there's redness around the eyes. So if a patient starts to have a bit of redness around the eyes and they have some risk factors for getting prostate cancer, this is something to think about. So it can occur around the eyes, the eyelids, and the cheeks. And it can mimic a particular rash, a malar rash from lupus or systemic lupus erythematosus. And then we can also see what we call Gautrin's papules or Gautrin's sign. So Gautrin's papules are these findings on the knuckles of the hand. And these are also what we would call erythematous, meaning that they're reddened in appearance, they're rough, scaly papules, meaning that they are raised skin lesions. And this often, again, occurs on the what we call phalangeal joints, so the joints of the fingers. And it can also occur on the elbows and the knees as well. This is also considered a rare finding in prostate cancer. So all of these are considered rare, but again, there may be more cases than we are aware of simply because clinicians may not associate particular skin findings with prostate cancer. Please check my other lessons on prostate cancer if you want more information on that topic. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe for more lessons like this one. Please consider joining as a member for members only content. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon.